In today's video, we're gonna talk about Animax, which is a procedural animation add-on for Blender that simplifies the animation of multiple instances. It makes it much easier and faster to create complex animations, which are difficult to achieve in Blender's built-in animation tools. Actually, Animax is commonly used for creating motion graphics and simulations inside Blender, which will come in handy because Blender is somewhat limited in this regard. It was released first about 5 years ago, but now there is a new version called Animax 2.0, which is completely different from the previous one since it has many new features and gives you more freedom when it comes to creating animations and motion graphics. The best features of this add-on are the fact that it is simple to use, it has a simple UI design, and the workflow is quick and effective, in addition to giving you the ability to produce impressive results in a short period of time. It also has 12 different effects for you to try, including Explode, Collapse, Noise, Robotic, and many more. In addition, it includes 34 animation presets and 13 fracturing presets, as well as the ability to save your own custom presets. Generally speaking, it is very easy to work with this add-on. Once you install it and enable it, you will notice a new tab in the end panel, and when you click on Animax, two different panels will appear for you. First is Animate, where you can add collections, texts, and note groups to which you want to apply effects, as well as presets such as Fall Down, Machine Assembly, Snow, Pop In, and others. This in addition to the ability of adding and combining different effects, which you can then save as a preset. There are also various parameters to control the offset, timing, interpolation, as well as changing some properties. The second panel is Fracture which allows you to split an object into a number of seeds and subdivisions, as well as adding modifiers such as solidify, triangulate, and cut edges. In addition to that, faces can also be separated, and meshes can be sliced. This add-on is actually perfect for this job, and it can help you do a lot of amazing stuff in a short period of time. In addition to what I said before, you will find a bunch of tools that will help you fracture and mesh object into pieces. You can also add and animate text procedurally, in addition to that, you can animate any geometry node tree that outputs instances, and you can animate all the objects in the collection at once. Furthermore, the add-on's user interface allows you to change the inputs. You can utilize the attribute node in Animax to quickly animate the materials. This way, you won't have to worry about the workflow or render times even if your computer is a potato computer, which is the case for a lot of you guys, so this is an important point. To summarize it, Animax is extremely useful and will be primarily used by animators and simulation enthusiasts in addition to motion graphics artists. From what I can see, it will save you a significant amount of time because it has a lot of tools and it is simple and quick. That's why I'm confident that it will help a lot of people and it will keep improving in the future. If you are interested in Animax, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.